Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to demonstrate how you can do a sheet metal component which you can see here by using the dimension drawings which you can see on the left side. So we have uh, basically all the dimensions and parameters required to uh, complete this design here on the right and we are on the last part of this tutorial series. So I'll switch back to the part which we, uh, we were working on and in here we need to create two bridge stamps which you can see here all the positioning everything is already given in that and let's see how we can work on it so to do it basically you need to create a point so go to sketch and select the surface here and place a point on the center here and you can see that it is at a distance of 36.5 from the center here so just go for the dimension this one is 36.5 that's it and uh, you can see that it's 75 and it will be 75 automatically I hope if you're not sure you could see it's 75 and it's over constraint so you could delete it also what you can do is just make it as a reference. Come out of the sketch now and go for insert stamping and create a bridge stamp and select the surface no, that's not it. Go for bridge stamp once again select a face plane or a point so you can just directly go and select the point and then select the face and that will open up the uh, bridge definition dialog box and now you can see that uh, you can insert the different uh, parameters so basically go for the bridge stamp it's right here and uh, yeah it's here the length is 27 and it's having an angle of 80 degrees, it's right now the height the length is 27, so you could just cut this please keep the height as 4 and length as 27 here and the width will be 4, you can see that here width is 4 and 80, 2, yeah, the radius 1 will be 1 and radius 2 will be a 0.5. Click on the preview. You can see that uh, the bridge stamp has appeared. Make sure that you're reversing the direction and you got the bridge stamp right there. Now go ahead and create the same kind of bridge stamp once again on the other side right here. Just select the surface and click on the sketch. And just create a point. And place it as at a distance of how much? Just see how much it is. Three point five. So you could use the same here. A lot of software is running on the background. I'm really sorry that system is uh, hanging a little, bit, a little bit. Come out and now it's pretty simple you can just go for the lower stamp once again you don't have to set the parameters once again it will be set by itself just
press the escape button and go for the lower stamp select the point oh, I'm really sorry I've been selecting the lower stamp whereas I was supposed to select the bridge stamp here and I hope uh, you've been noticing that mistake of mine the point is here and the surface is here and you got the lower uh, the bridge stamp right there reverse the direction 4 mm 27 4 80 1 and 0.5 it's always good to you know uh, check the things or the parameters before you're just clicking on OK button. Now you can click on the OK button and our uh, sheet and click component is ready here. So you could just uh, see how the flat view looks like here. So that's how the flat view looks like. And if you have any doubts, you could write to me. You could uh, come in below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you. If you have any CAD related project inquiries, you could write to me at ketsia.prototuser at gmail.com. I hope uh, this tutorial is going to help you on your CAD projects or your sheet metal projects and stay tuned.